Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So people often come to me and ask me about how do I align with soul? How do I know what my soul mission is? How do I know what my soul purpose is? I know, Kat, I can feel it within me that I want to help people. I know that I'm an empath. I know that I can make a difference out in the world, but how do I do it? And on top of that, Kat, I'm an introvert. How do I align with soul, help people and, and you know, grow a soul-led business, but being an introvert as well? Well, very simply, and I help many, many people along the way from the most introverted person to the most extroverted per person. And I have something that can help you as well as some people will say to me, Kat, you know, I have fibro or, you know, I have a busy family life. How can I create a really beautiful business that is out there helping people? And also really, how do I align with soul? How do I know what my soul purpose is, Kat? I have no clue. Well, here is the key to it. Your soul purpose, your soul mission, how you become, how do you become the expert in your field? Well, it's always by something you have overcome or a, a passion. So it's either your pain or your passion. Now, often people will say to me, yeah, but I still don't feel like, you know, I, it's, it, I'm an expert in it. Well, I often equal it to if I go in, so I live in England and I go into a little village hall and I speak to 40 people, I go and talk to 40 people and they've never left the UK at all. And I start to tell them about a trip that they're going to go on to Spain. And I tell them all about the food, I tell them all about the places to go, the different things that they can see in the sites. And I give them little maps to make it easier. And I've even numbered, you know, the easiest routes of how to do it because they're really short for time. Those people leave that room and they think that I'm the expert. They believe that I'm the expert. How do I become the expert? Because I only need to know a small amount of information that I become the expert to those people. So I might only be a few steps ahead of them. But actually, a lot of the time, being a few head, steps ahead of somebody is incredibly powerful because you remember those feelings. You remember how difficult it was. Now, if somebody was teaching it, maybe even, you know, somebody coming over that has lived in Spain all their lives and they come over and speak to those people as well, they might not give them as much useful information as myself because they've done it all their lives. So they don't know how it feels. They don't know the pitfalls. So what I'm trying to explain here is to be an expert, you don't need to have studied for years and years. You might have just lived in Spain for three or four months but you've lived there, you remember the pitfalls, you remember the obstacles, you remember, you know, what words you needed to learn. So you also gave them some really key words of, you know, how do I get to the bus station? How do I ask for a loaf of bread, some milk? And so you're giving them really vital key information that is going to help them on their journey. Now, a lot of the time people will say to me, but I don't know. I don't know what makes me an expert. And so I will always say to them, well, what do you overcome? How do you feel? You know, what have you gone through in your life? For example, and, you know, I'm using this as an example. And if you're listening to this, somebody might recognize this example I'm using. You get diagnosed with autism in your adult life. And throughout your life, you've been misunderstood and, you know, it's been really difficult. It's been really challenging for you to move through life. But you get this diagnosis and, and it's a long draw out, out diagnosis. And while you were going through the autism diagnosis, you know, all the forms you had to fill in, how long did it take to get the diagnosis? 
you know, what we, did it set off your anxiety, you know, did it set off feeling like you're not like everybody else and how will the world feel to you, how will you be accept, accepted into the world and then once you get the diagnosis, what can you do with that diagnosis to make your life a little bit more easier? Now, if you start to guide and help people on YouTube, maybe, or maybe you have a blog, or maybe you have a workbook, you are starting to help. And you might only be, you know, six months, a year, two years in front of them, but you're giving them all the key points that you, they are going to go through. And you are taking that anxiety, you're taking that worry out of what they have gone through. Likewise, if you're on a twin flame journey, or maybe you have suffered with depression throughout your life, and you've learned certain herbs and, you know, certain ways that have really helped and made a difference, you then become that expert. You see, people often focus on soul purpose and soul mission and make it and overcomplicate it and think that they've got to start to teach. This journey where we are now is not about teaching. It is about sharing, sharing your story, being that lighthouse, being that support network. So when somebody is going through and finds your videos, they can relate to you. And so finding your purpose, finding your mission is not as complicated as you think. You see, once you become that expert, i.e., you know, you've gone through that whole process of autism, or maybe you've been on a twin flame or an awakening journey. You went through ego death and dark night of the soul, and you've, you've come out of it now, and you understand it. You can then become that expert because you can relate to those people and you can share your story and say what they will go through and maybe give them help and support, but not from a teaching point of view, but from a sharing point of view. You see, a lot of the time people get this all wrong and it stops them. They start then, you know, pondering and overthinking it and put up barriers of why they can't show up. You know, we are led to believe that and a lot of the time people have imposter syndrome at this point. And so they need the next course and the next course and the next course and the next course or they need to get the next book to understand more. What about if you took all that away? And know that you have everything within you that to align with your soul purpose, but also not to make just a difference in your life, but to make a difference in another person's life. If you're ready and you want to learn how to make passive income, how to create a soul-led business that doesn't run your life, but you do it with love and it lights up your life and you're able to have such an incredible, you know, life-work balance where you work a small amount of de a day, but you work in a way of being that lighthouse, of shining that light and you want to simplify it down. You don't want somebody that overcomplicates it. You want somebody who screen shares, shows you how to create a full business, shows you how to monetize it, shows you how to be that light beamer, you know, how to help people that are going through awakenings, giving you the process of what they will go through so you can then go out and help others, showing you how to create amazing, beautiful workbooks, create your podcast, create memberships and courses, simply and easy and cost-free. This course that I share with you virtually costs you nothing once you have purchased the course. I show you how to do it so you're still with your Zimmer frame at 90 being able to shine your light and help others in the world. I've got 25% off at the moment so if you're interested it's that you click down in the description you'll find a link and it'll take you straight to my combined soul coaching soul led business course. Now is the time to do it. You could be stepping into 2024, not only changing your life, but also changing others too. I send you much love, many blessings.